Okay, it should be online now. Also, yeah, the, I know there's probably gonna be people saying like, oh, the text is not right, or you forgot to change the title, but actually for this situation, it's gonna fit. Because technically that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna do a uh, better random stuff right now. But hopefully it all works well. I got everything ready and hopefully it, all of it works. Okay. Yeah, we're online now, so the dine is here. Let's prepare things. Say hi, Jimmy, welcome. That's the wrong scene. Whoops, sorry. Uh, is this the wrong scene? No, this is the right one. Also, let me go real quick to the other one because I need to adjust myself. I'm floating. Not anymore. Okay. Back to the normal program. Uh, first of all, uh, Shady. Shadito. Hey, Jerry, welcome. I need you to capture something. I need you to capture the audio and I need you to capture the video now. Okay, the first part of the stream is gonna be like something random that I had prepared. Uh, I was pretty sure this might be. Sorry if I sound a little. <laughs> sorry for the joining. Is it because I just I take a quick little nap before the stream and I'm a little exhausted. But it's okay. This little part of the stream is not going to be uploaded to YouTube. So this is going to stay on Twitch. Uh, do we got image? I don't think we got image. There we go. We got. Okay. You guys will be like, wait. Luigi Mansion, but did not just be this game like the last stream? Well, yes, and yes. Okay. Welcome to Luigi Mansion Beta. That's right. Unless I have worked. So, this is the beta of the game. I tried a little bit to make it work. I still have issues. This still can crash from time to time. That's the problem. So, this is not so 100% reliable. This still crashes a lot. Unless I have work to do. That's also another thing. But yeah, after this stream, I have something different to show. But yeah, this might not work correctly because, like I say, it this oh god, I love problem. Oh yeah, because this is the beta, I can do this. I can crouch. I cannot stream Mario, but I can crouch. Anyways, let's try and get some crashes. Can scream Mario literally unplayable. <laughs> Gatetto! Welcome, Subaki! Jimmy, Jimmy, take it. Gayroom, Betty, Odo, Sameno, Tate. Oh, 
Booyah, booyah, ma. Hey, hey, we. Yeah, su, suk, suk. We, oi, doro, same no tatsu. Let's go to the mansion. So yeah, just like in the beta, we got a little time. So yeah, this is basically a recreation of what the beta used to do. Okay. The original beta was like that. It's like the moment you start the mansion, you got a timer. And if you exceed a timer. Oh god, yeah. If I. That's also another thing of the beta. If I suck for too, mo for too long, the vacuum is going to start to. Uh, Heat. So, yeah. Yeah, I have a time limit. For Caleto. In the beta, was like that. Like, if you take too long, technically you cannot rescue Mario and you get a bad end. The bad end it can become meme and a creepy pasta. Just a recreation, so it's not the whole game. But yeah, in the original game, in the beta, that was the idea of Nintendo. Like, during the whole game, you had a time limit to complete the game. So you cannot just go and be like, I'm gonna take my time. You actually had a time limit to complete it. So like you can see, not all of the things are open. Also, the little Luigi icon on the beta was different. Like you can see. That's the little icon of the Luigi instead of the head. Also another little detail that you can see here. There is a door that leads to this hallway. That in the final game, this door is not existent. So there is no way for you to actually cross from the foyer to the second floor hallway. They removed that in the full game. Why? I don't know. Probably so, so you don't break the game. They are planning to recreate the entire game, I think, in the beta style. So it will be interesting when it's out. But I don't see any other changes on the map layout. No, actually, there is one. This room is not locked. This room have a door. So you could be able to access this room normally. B3313, but Luigi Mansion. You can totally expect that. The room. Okay. So, you can access all the rooms from every part of the hallway. You don't need to take turns. That will happen really good. Also, what is that door on the rooftop right there? Uh, I need to point it out somehow. 
I'm gonna use myself. What is with this door? There is some decisions in the beta that really makes me wonder what they were thinking. So first floor. Everything seems normal on the first floor. Is the door the normal door? Wait, no! The dining room! This is normal. The dining room had another door at the in the front. Like Hold on. So in the original game, you come here and you have to move all the way around to get here. But in the beta, for some reason, they have the door like that. Yeah, tiny dino. Yeah, that's interesting. Why they did why they remove this door? Actually. Tell you that. Why they remove this door in the in the final game? I don't get it. Why they remove this door? Because this will be perfect. You come here. Yeah, it will be perfect. You come here and you get inside and it's like hiding room. But no, instead you come here and it's like oh, there is no door. Room. Yeah, I really don't, don't know some of the decisions that they take on the beta. That, well, these decisions in the beta were really good. Like, even the pillar room is connected. Why? Why did we move the doors in the final game? Okay. Also, the ghosts have less health, if you notice. Because in the final game, all of the portrait or special ball ghosts... Oh, he's burning. All of the special ghosts got 100 HP, and here they got only uh, 50. Rare. Like I say, this is just a, like, a project for a recreation. But yeah, like, you can see the longer I hold the stocking, the more the vacuum starts to uh, heat up. So you cannot be sucking for too long if not the... the poltergeist explodes and you take them. Well, not explodes, overheats. This door is That's some interesting thing. But yeah, technically I got a time because technically you are supposed to complete this mansion in one night. See, this is so useful. Why they remove that door in the final game? Oh god, the lag! <laughs> but yeah, how about you guys are doing fine? I decided that because I finished Luigi Mansion like the last weekend, I decided like, why not show a little bit the beta of the game so you guys know exactly how the game was supposed to look at? Hmm. I can check the bathrooms actually. Ooh, I'm going to that. I 
noticed that the one that they call the bull radar in the game in the beta is a uh, ghost detector. Okay, that's new. Luigi's scared now. So the little bottom, the little uh, lead tells you if there is a ghost nearby or not. Please <laughs> care if it was 50. That's something that they remove in the final game, and honestly, I kind of like it because, yeah. Apparently, there is no way to heal myself, so I need to be really careful. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Even though it was restored to 100 on the maximum, it was kept at 50. E. Yeah, definitely the... Huh. Definitely the beta is not really that long, if I remember correctly. of what is the beta actually like i say it's not really that long it's just a few uh, rooms but it kind of gives you a feel or what of what the game was originally supposed to be before the game that we got right now and in my humble opinions there is some changes i really like that they did like the overheating of the vacuum is something that is like thank god they did that Hold on a moment. But yeah, thankfully the overheating of the of the vacuum, thank, thankfully they get rid of that. So that's actually really good. why my microphone was being weird i just noticed that it was just you guys only were able to listen from one si side but i fixed that 
Yeah, the overheating of the poltergeist, I like that they remove it because it would be annoying that you cannot be sucking, especially with some bosses that have a lot of HP. It will have been a pain that you get to be stopping that. The mechanic of getting scared and losing half of your hair, hearts, it's also another one that I'm really happy that they removed because I feel that that will have been really, really annoying that just by the sheer of that, you lose health just by getting scared. So thank God in the full game, instead of you getting like jump scared like that, well, instead of losing health, you only stop the action. Like if you are sucking or something, you stop sucking or stop the action. Or Luigi just stands there, but he doesn't fall on the floor and crawl. So that will leave you vulnerable for a long time, especially with in rooms filled with ghosts. The boot detector, I'm. It's okay. I don't. May, I don't have any problem with that. But I kind of feel mad that they. Uh, uh, gonna go from the beginning again. I kind of like the mechanic of the boot detector. I kind of like the mechanic of the boot detector that it detects ghosts. So it's like you know exactly where the ghosts are, go are going to be or going to appear. Probably that was like a mechanic to prevent you from getting jump scared and losing health. But still, was a neat mechanic. I don't know why remove doors. Seriously, that's something I don't understand. This, I think I got a feeling why, because this was not useful. Some doors, I don't know why they remove some doors. This is a good example. Why they remove this door? It would have been so easy, like, if the door was locked. And once you complete something on the second floor, you can unlock this door to work it like a shortcut to move between the parlor and the hallway on the second floor. I don't know why they removed this door. They would have been really, really awesome. <laughs> Like, even you saw, passing here, there is literally, like, close there, there is a dining room door that they remove also on the final game. I don't know why they did that. Like, that's probably only the questionable decisions that I got there from Nintendo. Like, why they remove some doors? They'll come back some really, really good shortcuts. Yeah! Also, let me check something. Does the intro... Skip intro. From the beginning, skip intro. What is skip intro? Oh, skip intro lead me here. Okay, then I can be able to explain this with a little bit more of detail then. I love the detail of the little lead that shows you that. Matryoshka Luigi. But yeah, I don't know why they removed this door. This door didn't need it to be removed. It actually will make it easy to walk all the way to there. Instead of go take all the long path from here to the dining room. Also the same with the billet room. Instead of walk all the way to the billet room like that, you can just access directly from the dining room. So this door also was removed. I don't know why they did that. This room doesn't exist. This door doesn't exist. It's a fake one in the final game. Same. This will have been really good to traverse. Instead of take all this route, just to get to the kitchen. And it will make way more sense because it's technically the kitchen, the washing room, and the butler's room. So in layout setting, it will make more sense. I know why they did that. I, I don't know, so many questionable things. I still don't like the fact that they removed that door in the top. Maybe it's because of time limit, probably. That also will make sense, honestly. But yeah, kind of a shame that some of the doors were removed. One of the things that I'm really curious about the beta is that? Sucky. 
Why is this door here? Why there is a door that goes out of the balcony? And I think it's not connected with absolutely nothing. No, it's not even connected with the backyard. So yeah, that means if you're playing this game normally, it will be something like, I don't know, like this. And you fell. That's the only door that I... Oh god. Oh god, the poor ducky. There you go. That's the only door I still get no idea why they put a very weird random door there. But anyway. Uh, maybe it's like an alternate path to the roof? You know what? That would make more sense. If they continue this project of the Luigi Mansion beta, I probably will bring that again. But yeah, I wanted to show that little bit real quick because it's a neat little piece of that someone is working, trying to recreate the beta. I love that there is people who is trying to do that, to recreate what Luigi Mansion was on the beta, so we can actually play and see what we were missing. And thankfully, we got a really, really good game. So I'm glad that the beta exists, so we can actually uh, have some comparison between the beta and other things. Rare. If you ask me between the beta and the things, a lot of people do try to recreate beta some games. Yeah. I mean, you guys saw me doing the... Oh my god, Spike. <laughs> I mean, you guys saw me during the Star Fox. I literally had the... Uh... During the Star Fox game, I literally had the... What is the name? The beta of Dinosaur Planets. I had a lot of fun with that, that's for sure. There was also the Vera thing of Ocarina of Time, too. You know what? Let me try something. Okay. I'm going to test this game. Give me a moment real quick. Uh, I'm going to need to try something because... Okay. Let's let's try this game. I think it's called Space World 97 or something. Space World Ocarina of Time. It will make sense actually. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna do a quick BRB, but I'm gonna be back real real soon, so don't worry guys. So you you're gonna see probably that the stream is gonna go offline. But it's okay. It's just gonna be for switching the things. <laughs> 